bump pad time. I am really excited for this bump pad. If you're not familiar, this is um, a cushion. It does what you would expect. Uh, it fills out the skirt. Now, as someone who has always had more of a 2005 butt than a 2020 butt, I think I'm just, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. For a little bit of context, if you're just jumping in here and haven't seen my previous videos, I am currently in the process of making an 18th century dress completely out of Ikea fabric. And I'm using the Simplicity 8, 1, 6, 1 and 2 patterns for that, uh, which is the American Duchess Outlander pattern. These are the undergarments, which is what I'm currently working on. And today we're gonna make the bump. So basically this is a butt and hip shaped cushion that goes under the skirt and is supposed to just kind of give that skirt a little bit more oomph. It's a little bit more casual than the gigantic crinolines that you see later on, but it does give that beautiful kind of princess skirt effect. It's a very important part of the 18th century silhouette. And also seems like this is gonna be a very quick and simple project. Only two pattern pieces. It's pretty much the same as just making a pillow with ties that I can tie around my body. So it should be quick enough to make. I'm hoping one day, fingers crossed. <laughs> I have my pattern pieces here. I'm gonna try and make this out of the same white cotton that I made the chemise out of so that it all matches. It's time to just get started. Cut this out of the fabric and start sewing. This has got to be the simplest project I've ever made. I have my bump pad pattern piece here and I am about to attach the straps that will allow me to tie this around my waist when it's done. After this, I'm gonna make my ruffle, which is just a very long rectangle <laughs> that I'm gonna gather up using gathering stitches, place along the outside of my bump pad piece. And then I'm gonna sandwich both the ruffle and the strap between the two pieces of bump pad piece. <laughs> then I just flip it inside out, stuff the whole thing with stuffing and I'll be done. Very quick, very simple, very fun. Let's do this. Alrighty, the base for my bump pad is pretty much finished. The last step and pretty much the last thing I need to do is to stuff it. Now, originally I was excited to finally get to use up all of the fabric scraps I have lying around. I keep a pile of usable fabric scraps and then a pile of unusable fabric scraps. And I thought the pile of unusable fabric scraps would be perfect to fill this with. But then someone commented on my first video that they made this bump pad, stuffed it with fabric scraps, and it was way too heavy to function, which makes sense. That plan went out the window. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just not gonna work. So instead, I bought a huge bag of polyester filling. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff this. The pattern says not to overstuff, which is, you know, pretty useless advice because how do you know when you've overstuffed? I'm just gonna have to try it and see.
Ta-da! My bum pad is finished and it is glorious. Did I overstuff it? I don't know. Maybe it looks pretty poofy, but again, I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to look. Like how big is this supposed to be? I think it should work, but I'll probably only be able to tell once I have the whole outfit finished and I'm wearing this underneath it. Let's try it on. Looks good. <laughs> the size is good, I guess. I am actually really curious how this would look under my dress. Should I try? Do I try? Let's let's try it. Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> wow, just just wow. Look at that. I feel very historical looking. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Honest, honestly, guys, though, if there ever was a time to bring back the bum pad, it is now. Like, do I not just have the most Kim K hips ever? <laughs> right? I mean, we love big hips. We love big butts. Why not just wear bum pads? They are so much less invasive than surgery, so much more achievable to most people than, you know, extensive exercise and things that you need to do to... Get a big butt. And they offer many more possibilities. I mean, look at that. I honestly think if I made one that was a little bit less extreme, I could, I might be able to get away with it in everyday life. Just wear it under my modern clothes. In fact, I'm wondering how this would look under some of my modern clothes. Okay, maybe that didn't work as well as I had hoped. I do still think that a smaller, more subtle version could work perfectly well. And I'm kind of tempted to try make one now. A kind of period appropriate bum pad for 2020. I think that might be great. However, this one I think is gonna stay reserved for my 18th century dress, which I'm really excited to continue working on. My next step is going to be hopefully the final version of my stays. Unless something goes horribly wrong, I think I should get there in one try. I am waiting for some supplies to come in because I am going to switch some things around thanks to your guys' tips, but that's a different video. This is it for today. I'm in my bum pad. Another step in this process done checked off so i really hope you enjoyed this guys thank you so much for joining me today if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for lots more sewing but also beauty fashion and lifestyle content if you'd like to support me through patreon or my merch store there are links in the description box below thank you so much for your support there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching once again and i will see you very soon in my next video bye